Greetings on this Wednesday. Uh, much cooler air moving in from what we've been used to the last several days, but sunshine still. Uh, just a few stratocumulus clouds as that cooler air tries to dive south, but it is the textbook example of what we call cold air advection, which just means the horizontal movement of cold air. But you can see these streamlines, the flow of air straight north out of Canada. So that does mean cooler air today and uh, really the next few days. And that does mean a cooler start to the holiday weekend too. Uh, this is basically what we're looking at. Whenever those uh, wind speeds or wind directions are directly crossing or uh, perpendicular to the isotherms or lines of constant temperature, which are bunched together, you get strong cold air advection. Uh, and basically that just translates to a strong cooling rate through the day today. So this is calculating that out. Anywhere from one to four degrees per hour is how much the atmosphere is cooling off from that cool air from the north. So. If we didn't have that wind direction out of the north, we'd probably be back in the 70s today, but we're looking at mid to upper 60s only. And we're gonna be in that cooler kind of rut here. This is the upper level pattern when we get these kinks or troughs. Uh, that's some cooler air uh, that we'll be having with us for the next few days. But that warmer pattern reestablishes itself late next week. We're looking at that upper level ridge building back in and that's back to above normal temperatures. In fact, some of the models push us back to the upper 80s by the end of next week but not yet, uh, not quite. We've got some rain on the way tomorrow too, and it's gonna be a nice cool rain, probably not a lot of thunder in this. So this is ideal for many areas that have been missed by that uh, thunderstorm activity, which has been really hit and miss by nature. So if you needed moisture, you got more on the way. If you've been soaked, which I know a few places have, you got more on the way too. So it starts early tomorrow morning and really pretty much an all day rain here Thursday, but it's gonna be that nice gentle variety. And then for the weekend, Saturday dry, Sunday just an isolated shower or thunderstorm, really isolated and then same thing memorial day this is it most of us 80 90 percent of us both sunday and monday stay dry but there will be an isolated storm around so this is a look at total possible rainfall european model over an inch the nam the north american model also over an inch and then i'll show you the drier less aggressive models are still pretty good the american model the least here at about a third to a half of an inch of rainfall but the canadian model does give us over a half inch too so again it looks like a good soaking anywhere from probably around a half inch to an inch of rain tomorrow and pretty much through the day. And that's gonna set us up for when we do clear out some chilly temperatures, early Saturday morning, a lot of thirties out there. I don't think quite we have to worry about our plants in the Metro, but certainly Northern Minnesota and Wisconsin could get frosty uh, early Saturday morning. So the next five days below normal temperatures, big blob over us, no shock with temperatures only in the fifties and sixties. The normal high right now is about 73. So we will be below that until Memorial Day. And then that warmth builds back in late next week with probably above normal temperatures again by late next week. So the weekend is not a total bust. In fact, it'll be mostly dry. It's just gonna be cool. So bear that in mind, be outside, but it's maybe not quite pool or swimming weather until maybe Monday. 60s today, beautiful day, just windy and cooler. And then tomorrow wet. Friday we clear out, but still definitely on the cool side. And then uh, mostly upper 60s for the weekend. So again, not horrible. And then Monday we're looking at uh, highs in the 70s with again, just that very isolated thunder chance.